guys welcome back to another video uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my pictures using light through my Instagram picture so I'm going to insert some before and after right now my pictures is Lightroom but I recently started using another app that is called Facetune. Facetune has two versions. There's the free and then there's the paid. So I use the free version of Facetune. I use Facetune only if it is a selfie or a picture that is really up close to my face and I want to edit so maybe I don't want a pimple to show. So that's why I use Facetune to do. Um, so I'm going to just record on my phone and then I'll I'll put it on the screen right here. This notification should stop coming. Let me need to not find it down. Anyway, so the first thing I do is to import the pictures I want to edit into Lightroom. What you can do is basically to scroll from left to right, from left to right, from left to right, and wherever you feel like your picture looks fine you just leave it here but I usually do 0 0.14 although this edit changes depending on the picture I make some changes 14 for Christ's sake to 14 for contrast I'm going to put it on I usually put it on plus 4 for highlight I'm going to put it I'm going to put it on this highlight plus 11 yeah so shadows is going to be plus 10 white plus 16 blacks Let's put black in 18. Let's leave black. Let's leave black in. Let's leave black in 16. Yeah. So there's this thing by the upper right. It's called curve. <laughs> now this curve involves some deep color wheel color combinations kind of thing so this curve is not just anything regular so it, it actually is a lot what i know is that there are four one two three four five there are five points and then what this is white there there is the white black no the first one is white i'm not sure how it goes but i know the first one is white and the last one is black let me just let me confirm I don't know the first one is white then they have the highlights midpoints shadows and black that is what it's like so that is what it is so what you are going to do is to if you you just like if you want to increase the your um, highlights for example you raise it up if you want to decrease it blah 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 in the presets I use for my Instagram pictures I didn't I did not do anything I did not touch the curve at all so I just moved on to color so for my color I'm first going to increase the temperature a bit let's leave it on two um, since I would increase it no, I'm going to decrease it and then I'm going to move it on let's do three for vibrance, I'm going to reduce it to 7. 
for ouch saturation i'm going to increase it just a little bit because see so i'm just going to increase it just for a little bit yeah then i'm going to go into the mix right here so for red is this red yes first one is red so for red i'm going to leave my saturation and i'm going really sorry hue not saturation so for red i'm going to put my hue on five saturation about 14 let's do 13 luminance minus let's do 13 too let's do 12 13 doesn't want to call 12 <laughs> so for orange orange has orange i for i feel like orange has or deals more with your skin color so for this entire color mix thing you just want to um increase or decrease colors for example this green i'm going to eventually i don't want my picture to be green i don't want this grass to be green so i'm actually going to change the color or remove the color or not remove the color just reduce the saturation or reduce the yeah i'm going to reduce the saturation and the luminance and the hue so that it will be also keep in mind that some presets actually changes color like this preset does not go well with blue does not go well with pink does not go well with yellow it changes them to blue no it goes well with blue it just changes every other thing all those colors I've mentioned to blue so if your brand color is pink you do not want to go with this presets right also I'm going to be giving out two free presets I don't know which ones I'm going to give I'm going to show you guys at the end and you guys would I don't know if you guys would pick I don't know anyway I'm going to make up my mind at the end so if you want some free presets keep on watching so next i'm going to go into the orange and for orange i'm going to reduce my hue to about seven i hate this thing because it always like moves <laughs> this one's about seven seven please mm -hmm. saturation is going to be um is this this is orange saturation is going to be minus eight see can you see that my skin color see it actually does more with skin color and anyway, saturation is going to be it's like eight why did you move to seven and then luminous is going to be minus 19 so for yellow hue is going to be less to minus 25 right saturation is going to be minus 100 of course because can you see what i was talking about with the grass so i've reduced it and then luminous is going to be zero next is the green green um hue is going to be zero i'm going to move the saturation all the way can you see guys all the way down to 100 and the luminance also I'm going to move the luminance all the way down to 100 so. but so just so that <laughs> just so that the picture is not going to look some people do not like their pictures to be so unrealistic me I don't mind so I mind I don't mind my grass being kind of black i don't mind it but let's just in, let's just leave the saturation just increase it small let's not put it all the way to 100 let's leave it up let's do half let's do let's do 60. although i don't see any difference anyway i'm going to put 100. so this is the before this is the after this is the before this is kai i'm a fine girl oh jeez this is before this is after before can you see that it did not change my red but it changed the green it changed the what else yeah 
see the blue this parallel um, what they call this thing now packing stuff by the right it did not change that it did not change the gold or the brown in my hair so that's what I was talking about right it changes some colors but if you look at my fingers I am on I was on pink nails and you can see that the nails just looks very weird right now so that's what I said so for this kind of I don't know if this is sky blue I don't know yeah looks like sky blue sky blue to me no, yes now this is how sky looks anyway so for sky blue my hue is going to be um let me see what it does does not do anything naturally does it do anything anyway i'm just going to reduce it let's leave it on 100 then since it doesn't do anything um saturation is going to be minus 100 luminance is going to be let's do minus let's just do minus 8 i usually do let's do 10 10 for christ's sake go to 10 yeah so for this other blue that looks like navy blue to me um here is going to be Okay, I don't want the color of my this coat to change. This is what I was talking about when I was saying that in this color mix, you just have to play with the colors, just scroll from left to right. If it looks good on the picture, wherever it looks good on the picture is where you put it, um, and then it changes. So if you save your preset and then you use it on a picture and it changes the color, you want to go to the color mix to see what you can move around. Um, the colors you can reduce increase so that is that can be a solution to this preset changing the color of your clothes or something like that Q I'm going to leave it on let's do minus 10 saturation let's do minus 50 yeah and luminance is going to be let's do minus this is 65 for purple is it purple for this next color <laughs> hue there's no purple in my clothes let's do uh, minus 100 saturation is going to be minus let's do minus let's do plus 10 there are actually specific numbers I put them on but I'm just like changing and switching up numbers just so that I can show you guys that this color mix is all about individual pictures so there is no it has to be on this number so it just depends on the pictures the first picture I used to do this I was wearing a pink cloth so I switched up things a lot but in this picture I'm wearing a blue cloth so I try to maintain that blue do you understand? For luminance, I'm going to put it on minus 100. Then the last color, the hue is going to be plus 30. Saturation is going to be plus 10. And then luminance is going to be plus 52. Next up, so I'm going to go to effects next. Texture, I'm going to leave it on zero. For clarity, I'm going to put it on plus 30. For the haze, this is what the haze does to your picture. I'm going to put it on plus 9. Thank God you just stayed there. So for the vignettes, I'm going to put it on. See what the vignette does. So, zero, of course. I said zero, bro. Yeah. So for grain, I like putting the grain on the other app, which is face tumble. Grain just makes my picture look more realistic. Especially when I edit the, when I try to remove or smooth in my pimple or something like that. So that's what the grain does. So next up is the details. The detail rather. Is it detail or details? Detail. So I'm going to sharpen this picture. So it's, I'm going to put it on 15. I don't touch it. This is already there. Everything. This. 
they have put it how they want to put it <laughs> so noise reduction i'm going to put it on 20. so for color noise reduction i'm going to put it on 30. so that is all i do here on lightroom and then i just save my picture and go over to facetune you can now create a preset out of this edit by going to the three dots by the extreme right hand corner upper right hand corner and then create preset so you name your preset i'm going to name this tutorial 2 and i'm going to save it under user presets so save so when you scroll to see what i'm going to do i'm going to reset all so take it back to how it was before so the next time you want to edit this picture and you just you want to edit a picture and you just want to use your presets you just bring in the picture import the picture scroll to the right i think yeah click on preset and then go to tutorial 2 So I'm going to save it right now. I'm going to export to camera roll. Her oh, rendering is going to take a moment. <laughs> so I'm going to go into face tune next. Where is face tune? Where is face tune? I think here. So face tune two. Open up face tune. Oh, so this fine girl. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in sure if this is a beauty kind of picture i'm editing i would first go into my face and adjust i'm going to adjust my jaw nose if you like i don't really care now before you come for me in the comment section to say love yourself blah 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 i know those things but because i'm not perfect or good with makeup yet and i've not gotten a hang on how to contour and all those things i just do them here okay so instead of contouring my nose and wasting my product i just do it here so that's what I do. So but I'm not going to do any of those today. You can do a lot. You can raise your eyebrows if you don't like how they look. You can shape it. I'm not going to do any of this stuff. You can make it thicker. For face tune too, you can check your before and after by just clicking on this double stuff. I don't know. So you can check your before and after so you can you can change your eyes your nose your eyebrows your lips whatever it is you want to change and then you just press on that uh what they call that thing i don't know can't remember anyway so what i usually do on face two is to whiten first off but there's nothing to whiten here let's just try and whiten these small teeth so i'm just going to <gasps> We went to the starting point again because I mistakenly pressed. So I'm going to whiten my teeth. I usually also whiten my eyeballs just because I can. It's not coming in. anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I do then. I also smoothing my face, but I don't need smoothing my face now because <sighs> nah, I don't need it. So you can also add details yeah so i usually add details to my hair if it's a makeup look i add details to my hair my brows my earrings my um eyeshadow this i add details to those and then you can add glow you can conceal you can make your makeup matte you can add vibrance for this picture I increase the brightness for product pictures so but today I'm not going to do any of those I'm just going to add my grain in peace and go 
so i actually don't even need grain on this picture because it's not up close so i'm just going to leave it done let's do 50 and then that is all you can let me show you other things you can do you can increase your contrast color sharpen light shadows highlights structure temperature you can do all those stuff yeah so when i'm done i save and look at it before and after and then yeah before after and then this is what the picture would look like as you can see i'm a babe <laughs> so that is all so i said i was going to give out two free presets and the first one is going to be the black preset i just edited right now and the second one let me show you guys i'm going to adjust all and go to presets which one should i give should i give the brownish should I give the other dark? Should I give this one is for food photography, most especially gray. This is gray. This is like sea kind of. Which one do you want? I'm going to give out black and dark. So I'm going to give out give out this one and this one i hope you guys like it if you guys want um if you guys need someone to do your presets for you to go through all the stress of split tone color combinations just send me a dm and i would definitely do that of course it's not free <laughs> and i would be more than glad to do that for you so anyway so that's all for today's video you guys should check the description box i would leave um links to, to how you can download the presets you can just check it for how to use um the presets like downloaded presets i think it's called c i don't know anyway i'm going to export the presets and put the link in the description box so check the description box Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Um, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. And comment down in the comment section after you turn on your post notification and subscribed if you would like a post notification shout out at the end of my videos. Post notification shout out is basically me calling out your name and giving you a special shout out of love in my videos so if you like that comment done after you turn on your post notification and subscribe to my channel and i would give you a shout out that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys in my next video until then stay safe bye Bye guy, bye. Oh, I said everything. By the way, you guys, just take a look at my. I don't know if you guys can see it. Take a look at my makeup. Take a look at my brows. You guys, I'm getting better in this brows business. <laughs> M U A. Anyway, bye guys.